Hi, I'm Rick Tellender. This is Rick Morrissey. We're from the Chicago Sun-Times. We're here at Soldier Field, where the Bears just put up a stinker and lost 27 to 14 to the uh, Miami Dolphins. It was 27-14, wasn't it? Yes. I kind of lost track there in all the excitement uh, or the boredom. And this is a really bad loss. The Bears are now three and four. The Dolphins coming in were two and three. They're not 500. This is a game that the Bears had to win. Uh, this they had not won at home this year. What's going on, Ricky? Well, I, you know, they're up and down all over the place, Rick. But the, the, the strange thing is, I think, what, what happened after the game. It's like, Chicago, we have a bit of a problem here. Um, we've got uh, players screaming at each other on the way to the locker room. And in the locker room, we know it happens all the time, but th this time the media could hear it. Players talking about heart. Um, ESPN in Chicago reporting that um, Brandon Marshall called out Jay Cutler in the locker room afterwards. We've got a former... A uh, bear player questioning uh, uh, Mark Tressman uh, going soft on like the bears. Like Correct, a special team. Not a guy. very high level guy. No, but nevertheless. But yeah. I think what we have here is we got a we got a, a ball, uh, a snow rolling down, a snowball. That's what I'm trying. Yeah, to. A snowball <laughs> rolling downhill here, and well, it's not good. We'll be able to do that soon enough here in Chicago. Yes. Make those snowmen, but uh, that is a problem. You do expect teams to start yelling at each other, to start pointing fingers at defense, at the offense. Vice versa. I, saw, I want to bring up just one play. Jay Cutler was awful today, 190 yards, and he had 380 yards passing just last week against Atlanta. There was one play towards the end of the game, two plays from the very end, and it was Martellus Bennett who uh, signaled that he wanted to come out of the game, and he walked off the field. And Alshon Jeffrey had to say, get off, because they were ready to run a play, and he kept walking, then he trotted a little... It's just a little thing like that. It was all in his attitude and his persona. You got guys starting to yell at each other. This is going to be a real hard deal for Mark Tressman to get everybody back on the same page, especially when they're going into uh, uh, Boston and do, uh, to play the Patriots next weekend. So what do you think will happen there? Well, well, I, they'll probably win. I mean, yeah. I, and I, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I mean, yeah. the way this team is, um, you know, what, why we believed or anybody believed in Cutler or the Bears after the last game, especially Cutler, though, you know, shame on anybody for that. And you didn't see this coming. We all picked the Bears to win. I right. can't figure it out. What, well, what are we doing? What are you supposed to do? Last week he looks like an all-pro. This week he looks like a, uh, a he, bench warmer. No, he looks, this, that's Jay Cutler. Yeah. Up and down. Okay, well, we could go on, but we got to leave you on Rick Tellner. This is Rick Morrissey. We're here at Soldier Field where, again, the Bears just lost to the Miami Dolphins 27-14. to They're now 3-4. and four. We'll see you next week.